What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another SQL tutorial. Today we are going to be talking about subqueries. Now subqueries are often called inner queries or nested queries and they're basically a query within a query. A subquery is used to return data that will be used in the main query or the outer query as a condition to specify the data that we want retrieved. You can use subqueries almost anywhere. You can use it in the select part of a query, the from, the where, you can also use it in insert, update, and delete statements. But in today's tutorial, we're only gonna be looking at the select, the from, and the where statements, and you should get a pretty good idea of how to use it in those other statements. All right, now I'm gonna paste on screen basically what we're gonna be walking through today. But really quick, let's just take a look at the table that we're actually gonna be working in, and that is gonna be from the employee salary table. And I just wanna show you the data that we're gonna be working with before we actually get into it. So we have an employee ID, we have a job title, and then we have a salary. So really quick, I'm gonna show you what it looks like to have a subquery in the select statement. So let's go down here really quick. And what we're gonna to try to do is kind of do something like a Windows function, but without actually having to do the Windows function. And so we're gonna do this with a subquery. So I'm gonna select, and really quick, actually, let me copy this. So we're gonna do employee ID. There we go, we're gonna do salary. And now we can start building our subquery. So we need to do an open parentheses, and I'm just gonna copy this really quick because we're gonna be doing it off of that table. So we're gonna say select, and then I'll paste that and close it as well. But what we wanna do is we wanna say average and salary. Now what this is gonna do is it is literally going to run this, and let's run this really quick. It is gonna run this and it's gonna show that the average salary for all the employees is $47,909. So we are looking at the average salary for every employee. So when we run this, it is gonna give us the employee ID, the salary, and then in the very last one, it is gonna show the average salary for every employee. Now it doesn't have a column header so or, or a column name, so let's give it, let's say, as all average salary. And we'll run that one more time, just to make it look a little prettier. You can also do this in partition by, I'm gonna super quickly, just really quickly write this out. It should take no time at all. And then I'm gonna show you why we can't do this without the subquery, why you aren't able to do this with a group by. So really quickly, let me copy this. I'm gonna put it right down here. And we're gonna say average salary, and we can get rid of all this. And we can say over, and we're not gonna partition it by anything. But let's run both of these at the same time, and you'll see that they're the exact same outputs. And so it's just a different way of doing it in this example, but it really is just to show a comparison of how you might be able to use a subquery in the select statement. Now you might be wondering why group by does not work for this. Really quickly, I'm gonna write this out and let's get rid of that. And we'll say group by, we'll at least try to write it correctly. Group by, and we'll do employee ID. And we also have to do salary. And then we'll say order by one, two. So let's run this. And as you can see, since we have to use the group by, it groups by both the ordered ID and the salary. And so we're not gonna be able to get that all average salary that we're looking for that we can get in the partition by and also the subquery in the select statement. Now I'm gonna show you the subquery in the from statement. So let's just get rid of that really quick. And let's say select everything. Let's say from, and we're gonna do an open parentheses here. And here is where we're gonna write our subquery. So if you have watched previous videos where I've done tutorials on the CE or tutorial on the temp tables, this is one that is very much like those, except I think a little bit less efficient. When I'm doing something where I'm creating a table and then querying off of it, which is what we're about to do, I much prefer a CTE or a temp table. Subqueries tend to be a little bit slow compared to a temp table or a CTE. I tend to use temp tables a lot more because you can reuse them over and over, whereas a subquery you cannot, you have to write it out each time. So really quickly, I'm gonna show you how it's done, although I don't really recommend using this method. Really quickly, let's go up here and let's steal this partition by really quick. This will be our subquery. And let's paste this in here. I'm gonna make this look a little nicer just so you can visualize it a little bit easier. So really quick, what this is going to do is it is first gonna run this and create this table. Again, much like a temp table or a CTE. So let's execute this really quick. It's gonna create this table and then it's gonna allow us to query off of it. So I can actually say, and let me give kind of an alias to this, a.employeeid, and then let's say all average salary. 
So now I can take columns from this inner query if I want to and just select those, or I can select everything and return that entire table. Again, I much prefer a temp table or a CTE for this type of situation, but as an example, I just wanted to show you how it works. Now let's go down to the subquery in the where statement, but really quick, I just want to steal this query so I don't have to rewrite everything. And let's get rid of this really quick and add back the job title. All right, so let's look at this really quick. So we have our table that we've been using, our employee ID, job title, salary. So for this example, we only want to return employees if they're over the age of 30. And as you can see in this table, there is no age column. That is in the employee demographics table. Now, if we wanted, we could join to that table and get that information, or we could use a subquery. And so for this example, we are going to be using a subquery. So let's go right down here and say where employee ID is in, and we'll do an open parenthesis. And now this is where we are going to build out the subquery. So just for visual purposes, I'm going to go right here. I'm going to say select everything and we'll do from employee demographics and close the parentheses. So we're going to try to select something in this subquery that will then identify the employee IDs that are over the age of 30. So really quickly, let's take a look at this table. So right now we have the entire table selected. So we have the employee ID, first name, last name, age, and gender. So in this subquery, the only thing that should be returned is the employee ID. And in fact, in your subquery, you can only have one column selected. So I can't select everything. I have to specify one column. And that's a little bit different than how we did it in this from statement where we were basically able to select the entire table and then in the select statement specify what columns we wanted. In the where statement, we can't do that. So we want to return the employee ID. And we also want to say where the age is greater than 30. So let's run this really quick and see if it works. As you can see in the results, these are the employees who are over the age of 30. Now, if you wanted to display the age as a column in this output, you would have to join to that table and then put that column or that field in the select statement. But in a lot of situations, you won't actually want or need to do that. And so a subquery can be a really good option in these scenarios. With that being said, this is the last video in the advanced SQL tutorials. I hope that this series has been helpful and that you learned something along the way. Thank you so much for joining me. I really appreciate it. If you like this video, be sure to like and subscribe below and I'll see you in the next video.